uh, specifically for you, what's been the toughest part of the shortened off season? And do you actually see any benefits to such a shortened off season? Um, I mean, I'll just say the quick turnaround. Uh, you know, you know, not a lot of off time. Uh, so I want to say it was tough just staying on top of your, on top of your workout plans, um, staying fit and just coming out if you can. Okay, we'll move over to Charlie. Morning, Amir. Uh, have, have you set any uh, goals for yourself for year two? Uh, man, just keep improving. Um, keep getting better each day in practice. Um, keep picking, keep, keep uh, picking, picking stuff up from guys. Um, learning every day. Um, just doing what the coaches ask me to. Um, it's really all I can do right now. Um, just trying to get better. Um, you know, and, and get myself onto the court. Um, you know, just do what I can to help this team win. Thanks. Okay, we're going to move over to Kurt. Hey, Mayor. Um, we drafted Daniel Arturo during the, during the draft. Uh, what was your reaction to that, and what do you think he brings to the table? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's exciting. I played with him uh, in college at Minnesota. Um, you know, I think, I think Dan's a very versatile player. Um, you know, he could guard multiple positions. Um, he's a good run protector. He shoots the three ball. Um, so I, I think you could use him in a lot of uh, different positions on offense. Uh, you know, he's a run protector, like I said. Plays different positions. Um, I think he had a lot of value to this team. Okay, we'll move over to Jordan Richard. Hey, cousin, it's Jordan with Swiss Cultures. How you doing, man? What's good? Man? good. <laughs> um, yeah, can you just talk about your versatility with this team? Um, you've been put in a lot of situations where you've played point guard all the way up to small court. Is the plan with Lou the same with you in terms of the offense and playing multiple positions defensively too as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, going through training camp, uh, I've been playing the one, one through three, uh, one through four actually. So, um, you know, just, just learning all the plays at, at every position on offense, um, being able to switch through those. And then on defense, guarding the one through four, um, you know, being able to know each position, all the rotations everywhere. So um, I think that'll just, uh, you know, give more opportunity to myself, just staying open, being able to run all those different positions. Um, and, then, and then, like I said, just, just keep getting better and, and learning. Okay, we have time for a few more questions. We'll move over to Andrew. Hey, Mayor, good to see you again. Um, you know, Ty has said the, the first couple days of camp have really been emphasizing making the play after the play. If something, the first call breaks down, finding a way to score out of that. What, what's kind of specifically is the guidance that he wants you guys to follow for not letting the offense get stagnant? Um, just continue to move the ball and play with each other. Um, you know, sometimes when, uh, you know, when the, when the play breaks down, it's, it's, it could just turn to a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, sometimes that's needed, but... Um, other times they want us to, to just, you know, reverse it, get uh, drags, get step ups, things like that, um, just to keep the ball moving um, and keep everybody involved. And then he also talked about this year, the key was going to be being adaptable for the whole team, coaches, players, because the circumstances are so unusual. Um, I guess also with that, like what kind of what are, what are the key things that the coaches are telling you guys about how you guys have to remain adaptable this season? Um, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's going to be tough. Um, we're going into the season for everybody, every organization. Um, and I, I think just, we just got to be ready to roll with the punches um, no matter what happens. Um, you know, staying alert with everything, um, staying on top of everything, following all the guidelines. Um, you know, just, just whatever happens, just be ready to, like I said, adapt. Um, like Ty Lu said, so we'll, uh, we'll see when, when we roll into it. Okay, and our last question is going to come from Miriam. Hey, Mayor, welcome uh, back to work. Um, <laughs> on, sort of on that tip, um, you, you guys got a good lesson on adaptability from your experience in the bubble, but uh, like, what did you take from that? Like, what did you learn about, about yourself and just about how to handle something like this? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's new for everybody. So um, I think we all learn about ourselves, um, you know, going into the bubble, um, you know, taking some key points out of it. Um, you just get, like I said, you just got to roll with it. Uh, you know, whatever changes are made, we want to, you know, stick this thing out. Um, so, uh, like I said, I think we just got to continue to listen to guidelines, um, 
tips and uh, you know just just stay ready for whatever.